what is up everybody it's blair here i'm with doug the cameraman and we are going uh black sea bass fishing tomorrow so we got all of our tackle here getting set up we're tying some double dropper rigs there's a video on that check that out um got our swivels three ways all that good stuff some jigs we're gonna try to catch some flounder while we're out there but yeah first bit order of business we've got to neuter the the pen squadron and we're gonna put some new fiji real eyes on it that'll be a different video but uh stay tuned for how to repair your fishing rod but in the meantime we're gonna cut this bad boy off right here because braid that's a no-go i'd much rather just not have it and i don't have another rod to replace this with right now so we're sending it all right so tomorrow we're taking old trusty gulps and five inch we're gonna be putting them on our jig heads and running them on a three-way swivel right here we got three-way swivel got about two feet a liter you got your weight and then on the other end you got your bucktail on about a five foot liter and uh that's gonna be our flounder setup for tomorrow when your wifey has the priorities right for the fishing trip what is up what is up we are uh heading out black sea bass fishing today we're gonna be running out to the triangles from seaford virginia it's about a 60 mile trip each way and uh as you can see we're getting a nice the mass crowd out here on uh opening day opening saturday of sea bass see if we can't put some fish in the cooler all right about 6 15 we're coming through the high rise make a good time beautiful calm season particularly during this time frame for the big catastrophe tragedy of uh, last year came way up 71 feet 69 feet that's a big chunk of wreck right there yeah all right first fish of the day got a flounder he's gonna be a keeper two of them doubled up good job honey Check them to see if they're 13. They're gonna be close. They're probably 12. Yeah, kinda. They're definitely down there. All we're using the fish for sea bass is just cut squid on these homemade double dropper rigs. Look, this dude saw us catch some fish and he's like, I'm gonna pull up right where they were. Ashley's hooked up. Get it in, baby. Let's see if she doubled up again. You got the, the only double so far. Long ways down there. It is. Oh, I got a fish on too. Oh, that's a good one, honey. Look, up and over. Woo! All right, I gotta get this fish in. We got boo boo. 15. 14. 15. Good stuff. Ow, ow. That's what it looks like under traditional fish finding. See, we went from 100 feet of water to 70, which means it's got 30 feet of relief. And uh, that's what you're looking for is that big ship structure. These fish are all around the heat. Where's that net? I don't need it. We'll flip it on in, ready? Another sea bass, that's definitely a keeper too. Woo! 
We are on them. 83 feet of water today. <laughs> Sounds like a damn good fish. Man. Job, Doug. Yeah. He must, nah, it's awesome. Look at that box of fish. Got tons of big old sea bass. Yeah, that's a pig, dude. Oh, I might beat your uh, big fish. That's a nice one. Look at the colors in that. Oh, yeah. Take them in the light over there, Doug. Line. He's a beauty. The best fat fish of the day right there. Yeah, that's fatter than the fat one I caught. Oh, yeah. That is a nice one. That's how they should all be. Woo! Look at the blue. Oh, he's beautiful. Check this out. Can you catch that in the mm -hmm. sunlight? Yeah. Big old knot head. That's how you know it's a fully mature. All right, we are done. It's about 11.30. Got Doug doing a little clean around the boat. Got Ashley in the back. How was that, guys? It's great. Woo! 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 Hop up, honey. Let's take a look in final results. Look at all those fish. It looks fun now, but we still got to clean them, so. Tip of the day, get here early and leave when you can because there is an absolute parking lot out here now. They've been showing up steady. Beautiful day out here. Cruising on back into the bay. About 25 miles offshore. And it is a lake out here today. You can skip a rock across this bad boy. All right, we are back at the dock, getting unloaded, and now the fun part begins where you gotta fillet all these fish. Look at this, bunch of fatties. Keep them coming, honey. Yeet! Woo! Keep them on the dock, keep them on the dock. Oh, my hands are so cold. How many fish are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Two more. That makes seventeen fish. Seventeen sea bass and one flounder. Great day of fishing. All right. Well, that's a wrap on that video. Um, with some quick tips before I close this out, just to kind of give you guys some intel. Um, make sure you take a lot of weights. Uh, varying in sizes and take a lot of them just in case you get hung up. You are fishing shipwrecks. So if you're not getting hung up, you're not in the right spot. Um, usually you can get off pretty easy, but take some extra weights. You'd hate to get all the way out there and not have what you need. Take plenty of hooks, take plenty of leader line. Uh, tip number two, said it in the video already, but make sure to get there early. On really nice glassy days like that, you're going to have a lot of competition out there. So you really want to try to get out there early, catch your fish, and try to get out of there before it gets too big of a crowd. Um, other than that, get out there, have fun, be safe, carry the proper safety equipment with you. When you're that far off, you have no cell phone signal. So I always prefer to carry a Garmin inReach. Uh, that allows me to text. If something were to go wrong, I can text anybody in the world. It's a satellite device, so it does not need cell phone signal to work. So just keep those things in mind. Be safe out there. Have a good time. Leave a comment if you guys have been out there and you got stuff that you know works. Uh, and thank you, everyone. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers. Pretty excited about that. It's been a long time coming. So I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great night. Catch you on the next video. 
Hashtag the outdoor movement.